I don't think of the wheelchair, and none of my friends or anyone that knows me makes that an issue. Or, but uh, I'm a T6 paraplegic, so I need assistance. This week, the National Park Service waves volunteers, uh, assisted myself, get me on the dock to be able to uh, conduct the test. We just took some disabled American veterans and had them work on a project that gave them purpose. So they had an opportunity to go underwater with a mission to measure oil underwater, work together as a team, and have a certain fulfillment when it was all done. No veteran is going to want to come here just to dive the Arizona. It's not a recreational dive. It's a place of meeting and being there to complete a task is the only reason to be there. I served in the Marine Corps as a METOC, a weather observer, forecaster. I served honorably for four years and was discharged. Shortly after my discharge, I uh, severed my spine at T6, broke all my ribs, and there's uh, about six vertebrae missing in the middle of my back. This program helps with the integration process back into society. And that when you come back, whether it's combat or non-combat, if you just feel like you don't quite fit in, maybe people treat you a little different. We work together as a team and we'll have a great successful week, I have no doubt. This is, I don't know, it's a brotherhood of veterans uh, together. Um, performing a task together. So this, this really helps to open up and talk about things that maybe you haven't talked about before. Pete, you and Pac are gonna be dive buddies. Hey. David and I are gonna be buddies. In this particular project, there's less dependency on the system. The system doesn't always work. And the system being going to the VA, seeing a medical specialist for possibly psychological needs or whatever. There's a lot of factors in when my life took a 180. Personally, in my experience, <clears throat> medication didn't do a whole lot. But scuba diving changed my life. Scuba is therapeutic in so many ways, physically, mentally. If I dive three days under 50 feet, my body functions so much better. Uh, my head's clear and uh, I just feel good. And it's not just the adrenaline from the dive, it's really your blood pressure's better, everything's better. It's real. Therapeutically, diving makes you feel better. I've been working with people with disabilities in diving for almost four decades now. And my goal has always been to take someone with, as I refer to, their new body and get them underwater, showing them that they can. An attitude change, because so I think that when you have significant limitations, there is a tendency to go, I can't, I can't, I can't, and I can't. So we're all working together to help this veteran in a wheelchair get on or off of a transport boat. Talk about teamwork, how cool was that? Then you've got people working together to help suit up. We do that as able-bodied divers all the time. It's a little more dependency with these guys. So I feel like I'm still serving, even though I served many, many years ago, I'm still serving my country through helping a veteran with a disability. So it, it's an unimaginable uh, feeling of, I have worth, I, I feel accomplished myself. Diving on the Arizona, you're thinking about where you are, obviously. We dove on December 7th, so swimming down the side of the, the wreck and thinking about what's inside the wreck and the enormity of it and the gravity of it and, and what happened 77 years ago at that exact moment, you can, you can see and smell the smoke and the fire 
in your, in your mind. You're right here. That's super powerful. I brought my friends home in body bags. That was one of the jobs that I did when I got back. The difference between whatever we went through and what these guys out here went through, we all, we all, we all volunteered, we went where we went and we did what we did and these guys were sleeping, you know? Trying to do their thing. They didn't even have a chance. 1,177 of them on that ship. That's what I'm thinking about when I'm out there. I've been in groups with D-Day survivors, you know? And they're like, we never had anything like this. And this is an amazing thing that you guys got here. This program is off the charts because of its ability to have a veteran involved in a military government project that's sort of unheard of. And so now you have all of these people working together to be successful. You have the National Park Service who has opened the door for our veterans with disabilities to participate. You have the WAVES organization, the Wounded American Veterans Experience Scuba Group, who now are out there seeking veterans who are wanting to learn to dive. You have the Paralyzed Veterans of America, who has a, an unbelievable reach to a, a veteran group out there who could truly benefit. And none of this could take place without Pacific Historic Parks. So they have sought people with generosity, with good intention to provide the funds necessary. People care. People want veterans to uh, have a purpose and not be depressed or work to improve the 22 veterans a day suicides that we have. I think the National Park Service project here with oil, uh, having veterans involved and uh, task driven actually doing the scientific tests and gathering statistics and data is uh, important to veterans. The chance to have a purpose to share with other veterans from every branch of the service. It's a real sense of camaraderie. There's nothing but good from this.